Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about the purposes of assessment. Now this of course is a hundred dollar question. Why do we assess? Why do we bother to do it? So today you will be thinking about the different reasons for using assessment. But before we start, let me ask you a question. How do you feel about assessment? So, you can't tell me, so I'm giving you two options. Did you feel like this? Do you think, wow, assessment is great, I love assessment. Or did you feel like this? Oh, I hate assessment. I have to say, the common complaint of many teachers is, I have so much assessment to do. So I think many uh, teachers are thinking more in that blue face look. And of course, you've probably been thinking of that question as a teacher. So how do you think your, your students feel about assessment? Do you think that they are happy or unhappy? What I want to suggest to you is that if you're inclining towards the blue face down there, then maybe you're not thinking about the purposes for assessment in a, a holistic enough fashion. So let's look at some of the purposes for assessment, some of the reasons why we assess. The first one is obvious enough to find out what's been learned. And for many teachers that's related to a second point which is this one, to make a judgment about the learners probably because you have to give them a mark or a grade. And I'm guessing that for most people watching this video, those two reasons are what come to mind initially when you think about why do we do assessment. But there are some others which I think are important, and I'm going to mention those now. A good one is to provide feedback. Probably a nice example of this is for teachers who teach writing and who use a, a process approach, often there's one piece of writing that is read and assessed and feedback is given, and then the learners have to use that feedback to rewrite what they've already written. And that second piece of writing is also assessed. So assessing to provide feedback is important, and of course one result of providing feedback is that we lead to improvement. And that, of course, should be the goal of assessment, to make to foster learning, to make learning better. The last point I'm going to mention is one that I think many teachers don't think about, and that's this one. It's about to motivate. You just think about it. We want to give learners the experience of success. We want students to go away from our classes thinking, oh, I've learned something. I can do something I haven't done before. So one way of providing that motivation is through assessment and testing. If they do well, they go away feeling good. Now I will just say one other thing related to that leading to improvement point. It's not just for learners that we need to seek improvement. It's also for teachers. Through the results of testing and assessment, we know if we are successful or not. And if we're not successful, we also need to make changes. So let's think about assessment in new ways. Let's think about assessment so that we move from this view of it being something rather unpleasant to something that's actually not so bad after all. To move from the unhappy to the happy face. Remembering always that assessment and testing is not something that is done to students, it is something that is done for students. Thank you.